Hey guys, what's up? Today, let's take a quick break from talking about investments and let's take this time to talk about something that's really important and it's about the safety of your online account. Of course, this is even more important than talking about investments and it's about securing your money. And I want to take this opportunity to share with you some tips on how you can avoid these online scams or more commonly known as phishing attacks. What is phishing? As the name suggests, it is when an attacker tries to lure you in so it's really like phishing and their mode of operation is by pretending that they are part of the bank or online platform that you're using and ultimately what they try to get is for you to turn over to them your password for your online account. So these scams are currently run on an international level trying to disguise themselves as coming from PayPal and local banks and what concerns me the most is currently there are also those attackers pretending to be coming from Gcash. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips on how you can spot a scam and avoid it and you don't willingly give your account and your money to strangers out there. So what are the things that you can do so that you don't fall victim to an online phishing scam? Here are five simple steps that you can do to make sure that you're not going to be just another victim. So number one, the common mode of operation here will be via email, although there are also those trying to call you up or communicating with you via SMS. So in this mode of communication, the tone is usually very urgent. So the bait that they will dangle will either be a carrot or a stick. So these scammers pretending to come from Gcash actually tell you that you've won a thousand pesos on your Gcash. You just have to give a few details for you to retrieve it. So that's one. So people will tell you that you want a raffle. So those are the things on the carrot side of things. But also very common would be these attackers telling you that if you don't give your information or if you don't update your information, that your account will be suspended or deleted. So those are all bullshit. Don't believe any of that. Personally, from my end, on one hand, I don't think the banks or these online platforms are willing to really give you any big thing for free. I mean, whatever you earn or reward or promo won't need your added information. So if the tone is already urgent, I would suggest that you calm down and you really think about, is this a scam? In marketing, there is such a thing as a cost of acquisition. So you being a user on a system, whether it's a bank, an online bank, or whatever it is, these platforms, these systems, won't just tell you that they will delete your account. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So again, number one, so be on the lookout for these urgent call to action that you need to click on from the email, SMS, or even via call because chances are these urgent messages are already a scam. Moving on, let's go to number two. Let's say the price got you a bit enticed. Or maybe you panic with the threat of them closing your account or whatever threat that they threw on you. So what I usually do, once I've opened that email, is that I check the email address that's listed. And take note, it's the email address that you actually have to look at. So the display name is separate from the email address. The display name is something that you can easily edit. You can name your account Central Bank of the Philippines or you can call yourself from the office of the president. So the display name is easy to change. But the email address is a little harder because for the attackers, they actually have to buy whatever domain name or email name. So usually this is already a big tell. If they're not using like a proper domain name, then you can already see that this is a scam. So one way that you can check on the email address is when you click on reply, that's when the email address actually shows up before doing anything. So try replying to the email if it's the correct email domain name that's being used by the sender. The thing here is it can still get quite tricky for the current Gcash scam that's being run. The email sender name is Gcash Care Bank. So it sounds legit, right? Gcashcarebank.com. But if you check gcashcarebank.com, that's not a legit website. Or you can check with Globe. Gcash Care is not real. It's a phishing scam. So you have to be careful even if the email address sounds pretty legit. And here's another one. It's metrobankgov.com or .ph. So you have to think hard. Is Metro Bank a government agency? They're not. So obviously, this is a scam right away. Alright, so number three. Let's say you are still fooled. When you actually click on the URL or the link coming from the email or the SMS, what you should do is check the URL or the website address that you're being directed to. It's here where you can check, is the website actually legit? And don't go by the aesthetics because they've done everything in their power to copy 
how the website looks, whatever bells and whistles that your bank website looks like, they've copied that to the T. So don't go by the looks. Check the URL because this is usually where it's telling where you will see that it's a completely different website address that they're using. And also just as an added tip, before it used to be that if websites have this padlock, if there's an HTTPS, it used to be that this would be enough security. But I have to tell you, it's not because there are scammers also being able to use the HTTPS secure facility. So that's not gonna be enough. And usually it's in this step three where you can really see that a scam is being run because again, the URL is not legit. The domain name is not what your bank is officially using. And if you're not sure, you double check with your bank before doing so. And number four, what if it all checks out? What if the email, the URL look pretty legit? What you can do is actually look at the contents of what's being asked for. For that Gcash scam right now, they actually ask you for all your details and towards the end, they also ask for your MPIN. That's you practically signing away in the cash in your Gcash account. If they're asking for too much details, obviously that's a dead giveaway that it is a scam. Again, there are many clues along the way. If at any point you feel hesitant, then don't proceed. Just don't do it at all. All right, so those are the steps. And number five, it's not really a step anymore, but what you should do when you feel like it's a scam, hopefully you didn't fall prey to it. Once you see it in your email, just mark it as spam. Always mark it as spam because you're helping Google, helping Yahoo, you're helping the bank, and you're helping the whole internet and all who might be a victim of this. Once you click it as spam, then at least the internet already knows that this type of sender might be up to no good and emails from this person, this attacker, or these groups of attackers may already be filtered. All right, so I hope those tips weren't too hard to follow. The downside of me sharing this now is that, you know, these hackers will only up their game. They will only get better. My advice for you is to be extra vigilant. Really watch out for these scams. If at any point you're hesitant or you think that, that there's a slight chance that you're being scammed, don't bite into that bait. You know you're probably safer doing nothing. I mean, your account won't be deleted. You probably didn't win anything anyway. <laughs> and really be prudent on how you proceed with how you do your online banking or anything in relation to funds that you have online, whether small or big. Do everything possible to protect your funds, to protect your details, to protect your account. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you can pass on this message to your friends. I hope that you can even pass on this video if you think it's been helpful. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, thanks again for watching and stay safe and be vigilant. Thanks guys!